Too many pretty voices with nothing to say. Too many prolific poets with nothing to write. Too many gifted painters with nothing to paint. Too many beautiful faces with nothing to offer. Too many good scholars with nowhere to go. It's a crazy world. People are so loud, yet say nothing. People pretend to hear you, but deep down, no one's listening. Love is hard to find, like peace in a broken heart. Men find fulfillment in hurting each other. Stone cold, too many pretty voices. Stone cold, with nothing to say. Men have become stone cold, selling and betraying each other for pieces of gold. What human life has compared to land titles, houses, and cars? Fuck. Fame has ruined beautiful art. We only sing to glorify the devil, women, and sex, lol. We flood the media with naked vixens, abusive men, and dirty sex. Shameless. Hip hop singers and rappers have normalized drugs. A baby now knows how to take a sniff even before she is born. Real men are hard to find, like young women in Kaba. You only find them begging under female skirts and popular porn sites. Real women are hard to find too, like sunshine on a rainy day. They are out there disappointing their mothers at major street joints and clubhouses. Funerals are better than marriages, I'm sorry. Beautifully crafted and celebrated nightmares by two lost persons hoping to find their way in relationships that never last for more than a year. Nonsense. <laughs> Not like funerals are in any way better. Relatives wait till you die from starvation and stagnation for them to raise huge bills, bring your pictures and banners, kill cows and goats, get the most enchanting flowers just to give you a flamboyant barrier. For what? what? The dead don't smell roses. Hypocrites. Yes, hypocrites. I call you hypocrites. You don't see them at sunrise, but they surround your grave like bees searching for nectar at sunset. Education, they say, is the key to unlock the prisons of poverty. But how do we break free from poverty when education has become so expensive to afford? We only end up going to ghetto schools where the only thing we learn is how to defend ourselves from fights and endure terrible schooling conditions. Listen to bitter and angry teachers. The church. I'm sorry. The church is becoming a lucrative business. I see how clergymen are putting up infrastructures, purchasing new sport cars from the pockets of the poor congregation, threatening us with messages of hell and promising us salvation. Political leaders are egoistic tyrants with bare heads that has nothing inside. The only time they make sense are during campaign speeches, promising us roads and health care, but every day our hospitals are empty with no facilities. Empathy! Dear people, where is our empathy? Humanity has been sold for immorality, crime, and deception. Beautiful people walking the streets with beautiful smiles, but deep down they carry the brains of pigs. Yes, I said it. The brains of pigs. And one thing, I might hate the homosexuals, but the person I hate the more is the man who condemns the homosexual, but back at home, he beats up his wife and sometimes even receives bribes for services. Who are we deceiving? I'm Shami! Who are we deceiving? We are all sinners in different shells. Too many pretty voices with nothing to say. Too many prolific poets with nothing to write. Too many gifted painters with nothing to paint. Too many beautiful faces with nothing to offer. Too many good scholars with nowhere to go. It's a crazy world. Too many pretty voices with nothing to say. Too many prolific poets with nothing to write. Too many gifted painters with nothing to paint. 
Too many beautiful faces with nothing to offer. Too many good scholars with nowhere to go. It's a crazy world.